What's going on there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the entire Eyeballs for iPad case line. So uh, just a few preliminary things to talk about. The first one is a BlackBerry. I did get a BlackBerry. It's the Curve 9300. I love it. Don't worry, I still have my iPhone. I'll still be doing iPhone reviews. The uh, BlackBerry has become my primary device, but it's by no means a replacement for the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 is still better. That being said, if you have BBM, if you like BBM, uh, be sure to hit me up. My pin is below. Also, I am now on iTunes. Uh, thanks to everyone who's helped make this happen. You guys are absolutely awesome, but I'm going to be making my way to other video sites soon, but first of all, I had to get iTunes up. All you have to do is either click the link in the bottom box below or go to the iTunes store and search That Snazzy iPhone Guy. One word and you'll find the podcast. The video quality and audio quality is phenomenal. It looks better than it does on YouTube, and it's not even in HD. So it's definitely something you're going to want to check out, and thanks so much to you guys for making that happen. If you could write a review, or at least rate the podcast, that will help me get higher up in the iTunes rankings, and I would very much appreciate it. Uh, a couple other shout-outs. One is to Sir Oliver, who runs I and Live. Absolutely excellent content for tech. They do music stuff. You know, just really, really good site, iandlive.com. Uh, the other one is to New Jersey, De wow, New Jersey Devil Fan 26. Ben makes awesome awesome iPhone apps and he also has his own very very own YouTube channel which is very good so be sure to check that out as well and then of course unlimitedcase.com I'm no longer the owner but the new owner is doing a very good job at keeping it up and shipping things out very well and uh, they used to charge for shipping I think they still may but it's significantly cheaper and their prices are very competitive to what you would find on my gear store so be sure to check unlimitedcase.com out sorry we're two minutes in but I promise we'll get to the eyeball so let's do it um, we all know, and if you don't, you have to check my review out. It's uh, either in the bottom bar, in the iTunes description, if that's where you're at, or in the uh, shout-out box above. But, you know, this is a very funny way to protect your iPad. It looks goofy, but it really does an excellent job at protecting your iPad from drops and spills and everything of the like. But that being said, balls aren't all Eyeballs has to offer. They've brought four really killer cases to their line, and we're going to go over them. I'm going to go from least favorite to most favorite. I don't have reviews or ratings for them because I honestly haven't tried them enough to say this is a 6 out of 10 or this is an 8 out of 10. So I'm just going to show you them, give you a little demo, and then tell you if I think it's worth the price you pay. So the first one is the soft sleeve. This is uh, $27.95 US. So it is a little bit pricey. This is my least favorite, honestly, just because of the price. I feel like you pay a little bit too much money for what you get. That being said, there is this uh, really fun, excellent, really soft coating in the middle. And then uh, all you do is you take your iPad with the balls, of course, and you throw it in. Now this will work without your eyeballs, but you know, this is designed to work with eyeballs and harmoniously with eyeballs. So um, all you have to do is take it, throw it in there, and then you zip it up and you're good to go. In terms of drop protection, all that other stuff, there's not a ton, you know, it's more for scratches and dust and all that other stuff. So this isn't my favorite. I feel $27.95 is a little bit steep for the product you're getting. And uh, if I were looking at this, if I, if you were looking at this, I'd say upgrade to the hard case, which is about uh, six bucks more, but it's well worth it. So this one's $27.95. Not bad, but I certainly don't prefer it. Let's move to the lid. This one is a little bit of an interesting design. It's a little bit different than the others. And uh, I will tell you why. First of all, it's a lid. Um, it opens up in this little weird tri-folded way. And uh, what you can do is a variety of different things with this. You can first of all just stick it in. Uh, you go through the, you see the string here? You go through there on each side and then, sorry, I keep bumping the camera. You go through there and then you fold it over and you're good to go. You got your iPad case. Uh, you can do it either way, but you know, there. So it's decent protection. You do have your corners exposed a little bit, so dust and lint may get in there, which is a little bit maddening, but it acts as a case. It also acts as a stand uh, if you have it the other way. I messed up, so, but let's pretend the screen's right here. If you hold that right there, um, it'll enact as a stand, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then it'll also act as a hand grip. So what you do is you take, uh, your device, you feed these through, you flip them around, and then you do this, sorry, pull this up and Velcro it in, 
and then you have yourself a pretty nice little uh, little hand slip there. So you just take that, you put it there, and you're good to go. So, you know, they do pretty good, pretty unique little stuff. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, of the lid. The next two are the cases I really dig. But if you do want the lid, this is available for $29.95, and of course it's designed to work with the eyeballs. Now, this is the one I is, well, okay. So this one's good. I, I like the last one the most. This is the most expensive one right here. It's called the Satchel. It's $39.95. One thing that's really nice is it has water resistant neoprene on the front. So there's plenty of room inside for other stuff as well, rather than just your iPad. If you pull up this front pocket, it's a very spacious pocket. You can put headphones and cables and chargers and pens and all that other good stuff inside. So that's nice. And then of course you can open it with the main zipper. And uh, it's called the satchel. <laughs> it's not a purse, it's a satchel. Um, but. <laughs> Uh, no, really, that's, it is a satchel. You take your iPad and you throw it in here. It's on flips right here. Uh, first of all, you have this uh, lanyard, this little sh case that you can throw it over your shoulder. It hooks on this, on this clip and this clip so you can have it vertical or you can choose to have it horizontal through this clip and this clip. So that's nice that you can choose the orientation through which it is carried. Um, there's this inside. I am still kind of wondering what that's for. I guess you can strap the iPad down if the balls aren't on it, but it does fit perfectly with the eyeballs. Um, you just take it, and you stick it in, fold it down right there. This is a very difficult feat with my camera oriented the way that it is. And, uh, sorry. So I had a bit of a struggle getting in that in there, but now that it's in there, it stays really tight. And then I'm assuming this strap is for when you don't have eyeballs on, but you still want protection. So it stays inside here, but doesn't jiggle around like crazy. So, uh, you know, this is, this is one of the better cases that eyeballs has to offer. It's, uh, like I said earlier, almost 40 bucks. So in terms of a laptop style bag, it's very competitive with other companies out there and it does a pretty good job at what it does. And last of all, we have far and above my favorite iPad case. And this is arguably the best iPad case that you can buy. It's not just decent. It is absolutely excellent. It's called the hard case and, uh, it is pretty hard. It's not super hard. That's what she said, but, um, you know, there's a little bit of flex in there, but it is pretty durable and pretty uh, resistant to strength. So again, you have this strap here. So if you don't want to put your iPad with the balls, you don't have to. But when you do have the eyeballs on, you can stick it in here, no problem. These little reservoirs are for the balls. And then uh, you throw that in there, throw that in there. Take the lid, throw it over, and you zip it up. Sorry, this takes a second to zip. Excuse me. So you zip it up and you are good to go. You have very good impact protection because the balls are of course over the case itself. So you're gonna get drop protection. Also these sides flange in a tiny bit, but as it is the hard case, not so much that it's tapping the side of your iPad. So in a way, the iPad is levitating from within inside this case. This case is 35 bucks. And honestly, like I stated before, this is my favorite iPad case I've ever tried in terms of carrying. You know, it's not the most practical, throw it around, you do have to unzip it, but in terms of pouch, in terms of physical case, you're gonna take on a trek or take with you in the car. Uh, this is definitely one of the best. The build quality and the stitching on all of these cases is very good, and uh, I couldn't recommend it more highly. So that is the review of the eyeballs. Uh, we have the soft sleeve for $27.95, the lid for $29.95, the hard case, which is this one, for $34.95, and the satchel, it's not a purse, for $39.95. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Eyeballs for sending these out for a review. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.